Welcome to ICOC Hot News. Today we're going to be focusing on the latest news from around the world from our campus ministries, including conferences, baptisms, and one-year challenges. In the last three years, our USA campuses have actually doubled now to over 3,000 disciples across the country. It is exciting to hear all the good news that's coming in from around the world. First up, to Los Angeles, where the LA Campus Ministry had its fall retreat with John and Barry Lusk as guest speakers. The 500 plus disciples had over 700 in attendance, including folks from San Diego and Reno, Nevada. LA has had 180 campus baptisms so far this year. The Colorado churches had their retreat recently as well. Disciples from Denver, Fort Collins, Colorado Springs, and Boulder came together. The 100 disciples had roughly 160 in attendance. Lots of students are studying the Bible with many deciding to be baptized. Columbia, Missouri reported over 100 people at their fall retreat with five people already baptized and many more studying the Bible. Gainesville, Florida has seen 14 people baptized in the church in the last six weeks. Seven of those are from campus. They also sponsored a canned food drive where over 3,500 pounds of food were given. Troy Chris tells us it was the largest single donation by any group in the history of the Gainesville Food Bank. New England, where they held their campus retreat recently with Boston and New York coming together. Over 425 attended, including 70 visitors. Kevin Thompson came up from Georgia and preached the word. It's so exciting to be here with um, hundreds of disciples. It's always been encouraging and some really inspiring lessons. Um, the theme of it's been, are you afraid of the dark? And I think it's really exposing a lot of hearts, helping people who are at the decision to become Christians or not. We are currently four baptisms short of, of seeing our 100th conversion over the last four years here in the Boston Church, and that's just a microcosm of really the revival that we've seen all around the country. We're also excited about the One Year Challenge. The One Year Challenge is a program that the campus ministries of our church are putting together to really send students out the year or two after they graduate, before they've got families and before they've got career jobs moving, to really bolster the faith of certain churches and really uh, bolster the faith of church plantings. <laughs> Heading south to Georgia, the All Georgia Campus Devotional was held recently with 250 attending. Athens, Georgia has had 11 conversions this fall, their best semester ever. And the Southeast churches have a goal of 100 campus baptisms by their February retreat. Roanoke, Virginia had its 12th baptism this fall on campus and over 50 people are still studying the Bible. The ACR conference in Virginia was also a huge success. Annapolis, Maryland was planted, and they've now baptized three midshipmen from the Naval Academy. The ACR churches will also plant Charleston, West Virginia, with Rich and Mandy Bartoli in 2011. $21,000 was collected at the conference to support the West Virginia planting. The South Texas churches held their autumn retreat outside San Antonio. A whopping 60 students are studying the Bible in San Antonio, where there are now 77 disciples on campus. And up in Dallas-Fort Worth, the campus ministry has grown as well, doubling in the last three years to 65 campus disciples. Up in Chicago, not only are they baptizing, but across the Midwest, churches are adding campus ministers. Chris Zillman informed us that the campus staff in the Midwest has grown in the last five years from eight to about 30. And up in Portland, Maine, the brand new planting has already had eight campus baptisms in just 12 weeks. Very encouraging news is that campus conferences have been held in 20 different countries this year with roughly 5,000 attending. And we believe it's going to be even larger next year. Jesus said, come on now, son, have a bite with me. Thursday to Jerusalem, the palm branches wave. If the people don't crowd, the stones will surely say the Sunday's coming. Sunday's coming. Oh, we've been waiting all our lives for something. Mm, the darkness gon' last a day or two. Yeah, but when Sunday comes, you'll know just what to do. Come on.
There is so much good news these days that it can seem like a blur. But the big picture is that great things are happening across the country and around the world. Be praying for our 2011 campus conferences coming up in Athens, Georgia and Denver, Colorado. On top of this, be praying for the big gathering in San Antonio in 2012 and also the one-year mission challenges. All of this you can follow at hearamisendme.net, at ICOC Hot News, and also at Disciples Today. But thanks, and we'll see you back at the website. God bless.